Hello friends, uh, welcome to our channel where we are providing lessons in mathematics. Like uh, we keep on emphasizing these are serious holistic lessons. We have um, unpacked the entire syllabus. Alright? So we are here to, to bring a new dimension in the way we present lessons, online lessons in mathematics. Alright, so you have uh, with you a syllabus on your phone. So that phone can perform wonders. Okay. So our interest for this presentation is uh, to continue dealing with the F geometry. But we pay particular attention to uh, this concept. Getting the shortest distance, right? Between two points measured on the earth's surface or the surface of the earth. Alright? How do you get the two the distance? The shortest distance between two points on the surface of the earth. Alright? That is our interest. So if you have been having challenges, maybe a teacher could do maybe be looking for a reference or reference materials, this video is there to help you. Alright? If you are just a student, you have been wondering as to how you can get the shortest distance, we have provided the, the, the platform now. So now we are saying. If A and B are two points on the surface of the earth, the shortest distance between them, all right, take note, between them is the is the length of an arc along the great circle. So we are saying for us to find the shortest distance, we have to move along the great circle, passing through those points. So if you are going to move like this, if you want to find the shortest distance between A and B. You move along the great circle, passing through these two points. So please take note, you move along the great circle. Now we are saying, suppose we have, suppose we have um, the surface of the earth as below, like this one. Alright? So we are saying this is the, the latitude, latitude x or angle of latitude. This one we can say it is the, the longitude. Alright. This one is the longitude as well. Longitude. Alright, that is the longitude as well. Okay. So, how do I find the shortest distance? We know how to find the distance between uh, two points. But what is the shortest? We are saying, if I am dealing with A, A and B, the shortest is to go like this. Alright? Not this one. This one is longer, but you go like that. Okay, so we are saying, the shortest distance between A and B is given by the formula uh, AB is equal to 2 times C alpha. That is alpha. Alright? It's just a representation. You can use any other data. Two times alpha by uh, two times alpha over three sixty times two pi r. Where alpha? How do you get alpha? Alpha is sine inverse of cos x by sine theta over two. You close. Now, what is x? X is the latitude, right? What is theta? Theta is the difference in longitudes between the two points. Now, I must mention that this, uh, this formula uh, comes from the concept of uh, trigonometry. When you combine trigonometry and the uh, uh, geometry, we are able to come up with the, the formula that is on the board. All right, but uh, we didn't want to bother people with how to drive, how to come up with the, the formula. So what we are saying is that if I have a center here, for example, right? You have a center here. So what you are going to do is you draw the line from here to there, here to there, right? So this is the line from here, from A to B. So this is the distance that we want. So you have something like this, right? You have something like that. Have something like that, right? This. 
So if you bisect this, so this is small r and this is the cut to r. Small r is denoted by small r is denoted by r cos x, right? That is cut to r. So when you bisect, you have got this being equal to that. So the angle that you are looking for is this one, right? Which is maybe alpha and this small alpha. So that's what you need to find. But first you might find the angle that is there. Now, going through this, alright, we realize that sometimes it could be a bit cumbersome, it could be maybe a, a bit tedious. So we decided to summarize the, the procedure by this. Alright, so for us to find the shortest distance, we say 2 times alpha. In this case, like our alpha, it could be this one. Alright? 2 times alpha over 3 is by 2 pi r, pi r over 3 is here, of course. Where alpha is this one. Your, your x here is the uh, angle of latitude. The theta here is the angle at the center here of a, a small circle there. Right? Uh, yes, this theta that we are talking about here. Okay? So that's how you get uh, the, the shortest distance. Now, let's see how we can calculate. Let's see how we can calculate. Okay, so we are saying the diagram below shows the model of the F. Take pi to 3.142. Um, our radius is 6370 there. Okay, so you have got point A, B, C. Here the longitude is 75 west. Here the longitude uh, is 80 degrees east. And this is also east. Alright? So A. A. We want the shortest distance between A and B. So I'm going to say AB is equal to 2 times alpha over 360 degrees by 2 pi r. Alright? Why are we using this approach? Because we are moving along a great circle there. Okay. Okay, so we are saying our R is given as sine inverse of cos x uh, times the sine of theta divided by 2. Okay, we need to get that one first. Okay, so what is our x? We are saying our x is the Ratitude. What is the ratitude of when A and B? Uh, the ratitude is what? It's a vent. So you have got it? 70 degrees. And our theta. Theta is the difference in longitude. Right? The difference in the longitude between A and e, B. Alright? So, you are going to say, you can, uh, this is paper 2, you can use the calculator and say, if we are on different sides, we find the difference by adding. So I'm going to say 80 degrees plus 75 degrees. Okay, you can do that. Say 80 plus 75. All right. So you get your 155 degrees. That's the difference in in uh, in longitude. All right. Okay, that is the difference in longitude. Okay, so. If you want, you can even say, if I divide this by 2, because your theta is this one, isn't it? But you're supposed to divide by 2. You can even divide this by 2 in advance. Please don't get mixed up. So, we are going to say our alpha maybe is the sine inverse of cos. What is our x? Seventh degrees times sine theta over 2. What is my theta? 155 divided by 2. You get sine 77.5. So that's what you are supposed to do. 
Then you say alpha is equal to, so you need to work out this on the calculator. So you are going to say, maybe you can start with this or whatever is in the brackets, right? Maybe 77 by cos 70, all right? That's why you get a value here. Then you need to part this, shift sign. So here you have got uh, 19.4661401101. Uh, you can round it off or you take it like that. Then meaning that our AB now will be equal to 2 times our alpha is this one. 19.466411. Divided by 360 degrees times 2 times, what is our pi? 3.142 times, uh, radius is 6360. Okay, so our AB is equal to, so we say by 2 divided by 360, so we work out this on the calculator. By uh, 3.142 by 6370. Okay, this is what we are going to get. We get 2164. Okay, 0.50701. Right? Take note, this is in kilometers. Right? So, this is the kilometer. So it means that our AB is equal to, usually you are asked to round it off to three significant figures. So you are going to say one, two, three. Look at here and consider four as zero. We take zero, zero plus six. Six, so two, one, six. There's one point before you pull out. There's one D before a decimal point. So you add D is zero. So you have got this. So 2,100 and D. A kilometer that is always distance between these two. Okay, I hope that is okay. I hope that is okay. Okay, so that's the that's the shortest distance. But the actual distance, when you calculate the actual distance, you are going to get one seven two three four point seven four two seven eight. So this is about 17,234. This is the actual distance between A and e, B. But we are saying the shortest is 2,160. So you get the shortest distance by moving along the great G circle. Okay. All right, so we can look at the second one. Yeah. Okay, so let's get the second one. So one find the shortest distance between A and C. So we're going to say for A and C, we'll say two times alpha divided by 360 degrees by two by R, right? Here we are saying our alpha is equal to sine inverse of cos x then sine theta over 2 here all right okay so again we are saying our x remains to be 70 degrees that is the latitude all right uh, and our theta is equal to you must find the difference in longitude between a and C, all right, okay. which is uh, 75 degrees plus 105 degrees. What do you get? Get 180 degrees. That's a difference, okay? That's a difference. In other words, it might imply as if these two points are directly opposite, okay? So we are going to say now, let's get our alpha. So say alpha is sine inverse of cos, what is our latitude? 70 degrees, all right? Times sine 
Uh, what is our theta? 180. Okay, divided by 2. Okay? So you can get your calculator and work out this one. So you have sine, of course, sine 90, you get a 1. So because this 180 divided by 2 is a 90. So sine 90 is a 1. Uh, then by cos 70. Cos 70. Alright? Then you get the inverse. So we have our alpha is equal to um, 20. Alright? Our alpha is 20. Okay, so we are saying our AC is equal to um, 2 times 20 because our alpha is 20 divided by 3 cities times 2 times 3.142 by uh, 63.70 kilometers. Okay, so uh, what do we get? Six three seven zero. Okay, so um, AC that is equal to four 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 seven point six seven five 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 six k's kilometers. Sorry, these are not vectors, the distance. So we are saying the distance AC is equal to we give it to three significant figures, one, two, three, we cut the line and put this one as one. One plus four is five. So four, four, five, one, this is our one digit here. So this is the shortest distance. Alright? Okay. That is the shortest distance. Now, alternatively, you can say to find AC. For AC, because the difference in longitudes is 180, others would say uh, theta over 360 degrees direct uh, times 2 by what? Uh, that is what uh, others do. Where theta here is equal to 180 degrees, alright, minus 2 times C, the latitude. Okay, it's one and the same. So you're going to say uh, 180 uh, theta. You're going to say theta is 180 minus 2 times. What is our latitude? Our latitude here is 70. So we got 70 degrees. Okay. So theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 140 degrees. So this one will give you what? The 40 degrees. Which is this when you multiply here? Then everything becomes the same. Alright? So you say uh, AC is equal to 40 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 times 3.142 times 6370. Take note. When you work out this, the answer will be that one. That's another way. But we didn't want a situation where we say, okay, when the difference in, uh, in the degrees is 180, you take this approach. When the uh, difference, I mean, in longitude is not 180, we take this. So we decided to come up with a general formula that will help you to find any shortest distance. All right, no need of memorizing approaches. One solves everything. All right. So this is where we end for this presentation. I hope you have enjoyed what we have presented. Okay, please subscribe and give us some feedback. All right, share with your friends. So I'll give you an exercise. Okay, so this is our exercise. We can attempt. All right. Can we answer this? I hope we have solved that problem. Thank you so much.